ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I have a special memo. And this is a memo to Mount Kenya members of parliament. I'm not going to miss my words. And today, a better part of Sunday, um, of course, I have a couple of my few friends um, from Gema, and that's why I've been so much, um, I, I find it a bit comfortable to analyze Gema. And there is a question that my friends are asking, privately enough that some of them are people who campaigned for William Ruto, and they are saying, Kevin, we seem to be getting a road deal because we have turned to be a praise and worship team. And so what exactly is the gentleman talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, the other members of parliament, they are very close to President William Ruto. And since William Ruto um, was sworn in as the president, he has visited the counties of Tarakaniti, Meru, uh, Embu, and today he was in Yandarwa. The only ones now remaining is Kiambu, and he has visited Muranga also. So the only ones remaining is Nyeri and Kiambu, and um, Edwaiguru's county, that of Kirinyaga. On this political rallies that are called prayer, Thanksgiving prayers. And so they are taking the president at the slopes of Mount Kenya just to praise him and take or rather tell him what is of the leaders. And so I want you to compare between William Ruto's tour in Gema and just the recent one tour in Kakamega. William Ruto was in Kakamega for some two days and ask yourself what he has given to Kakamega compared to what today he was in Yandarwa. Look a lot, look back even that of Embu and what even Embu was given to Embu when he was in Embu. And there is a feeling that if you listen to the speeches of leaders from Mount Kenya, when around president, they are only concentrating on two things. One is anti-Uhuru and Raila rhetorics. They are only taking the president to the slopes of Mount Kenya to remind him that the region voted for him well, that Uhuru Aliwatesa, and so now they have freedom. They are actually taking, speaking about themselves, and they are not talking about the issues that they were to address at the campaign trail. So I just want you to listen to a collection of some few clips that I've uh, made here for you. And at the end of it, I want you to ask yourself, what is the voice, as in what is the intention of that speech? Because when you bring president, and you're there sitting with the president, it's an opportunity to lobby. Na mkono. Vitisho ikakuwa mingi. Hao maaskofu wakatishwa. Hao viongoza kina faithi kitao wakatishwa. Wengi wachache wakanunua uoga. Wale majority wakaseba ni watoto ya maumau. Na hao wakakuchagua kwa kauli moja. Mwashimua rice wetu. Hii nyandarwa. Mimi na shukuru hao viongozi wote. Wanyandarwa ambayo walikuwa wamepotea pale kwa azimio. Na tungetaka pia viongozi wetu wale wa UDA. Musi waingiria hao viongozi. Hawana makosa. Walikuwa wametishwa na kuuziwa uoga. Na kuteswa na kuambiwa watakamatwa. Uyu kiarao aliitwa Nyeri akaambiwa atafunguliwa kesi. Aina inakatara arogu. <laughs> He? Eh? Ile tutu tawapia wasiadamane ni our sacred lays. Lakini pia na kuoba rais wetu utupe ruhusa. Bunge unajua ndio inategeneza hii maneno ya utumizi wa pesa ya umma. Ukitupea ruhusa tuweke ka kitu kadogo. Hata wakienda kuadamana, serikali iko inawapea refreshments. Wanaadamana vizuri, wanapewa kinywaji, wanaenda nyumbani. 
lakini tunataka tuwaambie huyu rais wetu William Ruto mimi nimekaa na yeye kwa karibu haki ya nani tinga tafuta mtu mwingine wa kutisha Ui mpaka jioni and we want to thank you because you have a neighbor deputy who really cares about us your excellency we want to thank you because you your promises have come to pass you promised that you will never forget us you've given us a ps we want to say thank you you've given us a ps we want to say thank you we know you are giving us a cas we want to say thank you in advance we want to say thank you because you are giving us ambassadors in advance we want to say thank you we want to say thank you in advance because you are going to give us directors you are going to give so guys <laughs> if you listen to that clip from i think the only person i listened to if you start with regarding Gashagwa, he's talking about uhuru and how people who worked with uh, Uru Kenyatta they were threatened. Cecil Karaoke and Kimemia is telling the Cecil Karaoke and Kimemia to cross over and join in, before the end of December. Um, listen to Didi Nyoro is talking about Raila's Mandamanu. If you listen to Faith Kitau, is talking about how they're going to be given PS, you know, cabinet and all that. You know, let me tell you, from listening to that speech, there is nothing new that they're telling president. In fact, is it, do someone want to convince Gema that Ruto is going to give more slot ambassadors and directors and commissioners more to Gema than <laughs> Ruto is going to give more than what Ruto gave? And has the problem all over been a problem not getting these directors and head of parastatos? Has that, was that really the problem? Because we campaigned and UDA campaigned on the platform of the people, not the person. In fact, the agenda was not about the big boys. The agenda was about the common person. If you listen to the speeches, sorry to say, they are pathetic. I don't know. Maybe we are demanding more from them. And I'll draw a comparison from that and the speeches that president had in Western. Now, even today, there was another attack on even now Karua. I think Karua has now been drawn in the fold because it, it, technically, if you look at the people around Raila, one powerful voice that is remaining is that of Martha Karua. I think Kalonzo doesn't look serious for me. Doesn't look like he really means it. And Kimani Chungwa actually had to draw at least uh, radical Karua for some point. New Excellency, you know, Villa Bishop Alisema, she does ilikuwa mingi sana hapo mbeleni. Na ilifika wakati mweshimiwa rais na bishop, sababu ni bishop wa IPC ya kumbuka. Tukifungiwa mpaka kuenda kanisani. Sababu wewe umetuongoza kuingia kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Lakini Mungu ni mkuu hizo shida zote sasa ziko nyuma yetu. Na ndio Mheshimiwa Rais nataka nikuulize usichoke. Najua mengi yatasemwa na yashaanza kusemwa. Wewe unatembea naenda kushukuru Mungu kanisani na hata wakati wa kampeni unakumbuka ukiambiwa ati karibu ujiite Deputy Jesus Na nikasema ni kweli Sisi wote kama wa Kristo Ni madeputy wa Yesu hapa duniani Kwa hivyo usitishwa na mambo ya watu kusema Wewe endelea kushukuru mungu
Ladies and gentlemen, my, my take is this, that we have seen other regions, even president visiting other regions. When president was in Kakamega, do you know he commissioned an airstrip? Do you know he commissioned roads? Do you know there was a direct pledge on, I think, revival of, is it Mungies or some company? There was, there was also the lobby for the jobs, and that was led by a toll. In fact, Western was very organized. The person that was saying our Vijana Wataftui Kitu was a toll. They also said Mtukufura is. And even Kakabega voted overwhelmingly for William Ruta. And the challenge is here. Gashagwa, who is the senior most member of UDA from Mount Kenya, um, is talking about how the region should be is going to be given jobs. And the problem here is that when you talk about these jobs, that job, that PS, that cabinet, that conversation is not going to help the people down there. Because Ata Mutwa is Chagulio director. Why director Ata Kichagula director of Parastatal Gani? Is that going to help the people down there? Or we are only taking president the slopes of Mount Kenya to ask for jobs but not for the things that really benefit the people. I, I, and, and, and I don't want to be exclusive by saying that they're not talking about some of these things. My, 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 our, our issue is that they're not setting their agenda. You know, if you want it to sink, no, you don't want the president to take it, then unaanza, una, unasema kuhusu road, and you don't say that unataka ile barabara. Regarding Kashika spoke about a cooperation between county government and national government to build a roads within Yandaro. That, uh, that's, that's just a proposal. And because President Tutu is not giving them handable stuff. You know, like when he went in Kakamega, I can tell you, if President Tutu is to visit my county of CIA, I will leave Nairobi and go to CIA. And when I go there, what I will actually lobby, given an opportunity, is we have Yola Swamp, one of the biggest ecosystem in Africa that is not well utilized. And we can tell the president, pump money in this project so that it's going to employ people here and we shall also, it's also going to boost our export. In fact, that swamp was drained by the dark forces in politics. And I don't want to go, to, I don't want to go beyond that. So... We, we are not giving people the value. Is Mount Kenya subdued? Because do you know that when maize importation was affecting the farmers of Kalenji, William Ruto's MPs turned against him and asked questions. Kwani, <laughs> eh, Simon Cherergei, he led Mount Kalenji MPs to call press conference and tell president that look here, why are you importing maize and our farmers are harvesting? Now I saw in the cancellation of the Mau Mau Road, and yes, there is some reason here, one or the other, the other. The Gedi Gashak is not the person to come and defend. In fact, for Gema, it's them to ask the president when they're not going to be complete. Yeah, they are good Jibu, aseme, kuna hii na hii But nini wenye manana mlea watu mna defend? What are you defending? Ah <laughs> uh, no 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 you, you are not and 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 I, I think it is just it is just enough for government Kenya peace that Ruto is a president and they voted. They're taking Ruto to remind Ruto how they voted for him and all that. Do they feel insecure? And this will not really this will not turn out well. Do you know that me I expect that when William Ruto is in Mount Kenya he should have a policy, he should carry a policy direction in his pocket about the minimum returns for the tea. A policy, tangible pledge on the stalled projects that UDA campaigned with, that's a platform they campaigned with, saying that Uhuru had abandoned the region and the projects had stalled. So they should go there and say, the way they used to say in the campaign, that's what we should be talking about. Where president goes to Nyandaro, and instead of still 
the other leaders we are doing they should say tunataka na barabara kutoka pale hadi pale itengenezwe that's it <laughs> but they are not asking william ruto the good question the good questions they is their bargaining power low do you know that when moses kuria felt that former president uhuru kenyatta had abandoned mount kenya moses kuria started that narrative and everything was at standstill uhuru had to pump money to gema to make sure that projects run even though after pumping that money and the project started they later turned out and saying that uhuru ameenda huko ili watu wapigie ila you kuna know, you know i have seen moses kuria is not part of that meeting and let me tell you i don't really have some good respect for moses kuria because moses kuria is a brave person yeah ataongeza hizo maswali we know that at some point tata kwa a little bit extreme is a bit extreme is an extremist but there is an element of courage that moses kuria had i'm telling you if moses kuria was not a cs na amenda meeting ya ruto hata kama hiyo nyandarwa he will tell ruto hii barabara hapa 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 he will say it and that's what it should be it's not enough it's cosmetic for you to say ps job cas what cabinet that's you are that's for you what's gonna help the people of gema is policies and interventions on different challenges So I want you to I want to tell you that um this might turn out to be different but I know why William Ruto went to Central I'll, and I'll analyze it in the next video and the thing very technically is that yeye wao wanampeleka huko kumpraise and gashago to make sure kwamba ameonyesha kwamba wako na rais na wako pamoja and there is a very consistent strategy to make sure that we show rise that to kopamoja and president was going to nyandarwa and is having a lot of frequent just to manage the expectations we know those people are not asking questions can you subscribe to our channel click the notification bell and also like our video i want to ask you a question is this point making sense to you do you think that gema is simply taking a road deal not even being given themselves they went there and they are taking there is a difference between being given and taking presidency here the head government is an open check ndidi nyoro is the chairman of budget committee kimani chungwa is the majority leader deputy president is regarding gashagwa the person that persecutes the two people that persecutes government agenda in the senate in, in the national assembly is kimani chungwa and the budget person ndidi nyoro and they're not really asking william ruto questions if kanjin could ask questions kwani who are they guys let me tell you president ruto should be very keen because this would in the wrong in the long run charge the ground to become slippery against him and when these people will realize that we are not getting a go a road deal they will turn the blames on william ruto and they will actually turn and blame me. if they blame uhuru kenyatta that uhuru kenyatta you know one of the reasons uhuru kenyatta protest started was oh haja tusaidia they will turn the gun against you and tell you that walikuchagua but sasa hujawasaidia the jobs the jobs you have given uh, a region cannot be a point to go and tell people that I've given you that I've given you that no like a development people will feel what you are doing so this might really turn out and even if not against Tuto the anti uhuru currency i agree with musalem davadi the son of modamba that that currency will come depleted and when it comes depleted the party euphoria will not be enough to make these people get re-election they may if they are not if they turn the gun and blame Uhuru, william ruto themselves they can be neglected or rather rejected by the people and what will that play out that would mean that the third force can emerge or a second force can emerge to run what i've been talking about called mount kenya consciousness this is what should be the big worry 
The Gandhi Geshago is busy with a project of uniting Mount Kenya. Fully support. In fact, a united people, even as we've been talking about the unity of the Luo nation. That has been, and, and for, many, for, for many reasons, people have not known that the Raila aspect has been a pillar of unity. The Raila aspect has been a point of unity for the Luo nation. And that's why things go south. And there will be that unity. There is no problem with a region uniting. But that unity call may not have a value if it will serve the political ambitions, political persuasions. The unity call, guys, should not be about political persuasion and mobilization, but it will be about it should be about collective bargaining power. That is missing. People are uniting the region so that 2027 to Pigiru to Okay, not bad because we are serving his interest. Not bad. But the value to the people is it should not be a tool only for for us to we, we've always tried. People have always criticized Raila for uniting the region and, you know, winking this and that. But you will take this to bank that in the handshake government, that unity paid off. And the, the, the Kisumu port got life. The couple of roads, my place, Nikitoka Nairobi, Nikenda home, Nashuka Kwa Gate, Nangia home. Lami, Tonani Keshwa. 